Welcome, everyone. Uh, this is an AMA for the Pixie Bolt AI project. It will help create realistic images without any graphic art skills. Perfect for someone like me. Uh, so it uses artificial intelligence to take your creative text and turn it into amazing images. Architect has done a great job of making these images cyberworkers themed. Um, and he's also doing project management for this. It, the service is provided by Pixelcat Bot from a company called 330 AI. We're going to hear a little bit more about them later. And this whole project is funded and paid by Cyberbrokers Community Fund. To the right, you can see kind of an example image of what you'll be able to do uh, right after this AMA. Uh, just want to give a timeline for everyone. So in August, uh, we worked on getting the bot into the server, all the styling right, all the commands right, and then holding uh, a beta for some holders. You've probably seen those images on Twitter. Uh, September is the launch today, plus the AMA. And then next week, we're going to start weekly contests. Uh, October, we'll have continued weekly contests. We're going to gather feedback towards the middle of October from holders. Uh, and then figure out uh, if we want to continue using this, if, if holders find value for it. So uh, as an overview, before we hand it over to Architect uh, for some demos, there'll be a single channel for it called CB Pixie Bolt AI. All holders with a cyber broker role will have access uh, so you do need to be verified with Collabland to get into it. It will have Discord slash commands, if you're familiar with those, the, the slash mm -hmm. at the front, uh, immediately available after this AMA. And there is a user guide that you can refer to mm -hmm. after the AMA uh, to help out um, with understanding how to use it and how to get best results for it. Okay. There are two primary commands that you can use. Uh, the first is scene, which is uh, a landscape version of an image, and that's more for places and locations. And then there's portrait, uh, which is uh, more for people and characters. And it'll make more sense when you start seeing the demos. Architect, would you like to share and give us a run through? Yes, okay. I will. Try to share my screen. What I do is I want to say that yes, I'm very grateful to the Cyber Brokers team that you decided to fund this project. And even if Carl says that I'm the project manager, actually I think uh, I think he has been doing more project management than me. So I also have to thank you, Carl, for all the work you've you've been doing on the behind the scenes with this with this project. So, uh, yeah, so the scenes will be generated by a bot in the Discord in this specific channel, which is CB Pixiebot AI under the Creative Hub category. And I have some mentions here. So you can check the, the, what we wanted to do with the, because you can also use, of course, these kind of services by yourself in websites and different places. But what we wanted to achieve with the bot is uh, some collaborative working. So the nice thing, the nice thing with this, we think, is that you can see what others are doing and you can get inspired by them, or you can work in an image with someone from the community. And we think that's the that's what the bot allows us to do. So, for instance, in this channel, you can see already here some of the images we've been generating. For instance, this, and you can see the user here, this is by Bo. Yes, yeah, some, some of the images. And you can always see the words that that have been used to generate this specific image. And that's very helpful because some, as you will notice when you try the bot, some words work best, work better than others. So it's very useful to see others that have been experimenting with this a long time and to learn from them. And that's what the bot, allows us. So basically what you have to do to, to create an image is write a slash and then you have to select either a scene or portrait. And of course, I <laughs> the words are, are easy to understand. A scene is for 
more complex images where you will have, for instance, locations or a battle or things like this with more with more elements in the image. And it and they are normally landscape, as you will see now. And portrait is for for portraits, of course. And you can select also uh, aspect ratios. For instance, we can say um, a scene. I suppose we, we can use some of the one that that's been generated here before, for instance. Uh, so we can say night street photography for touristic Times Square, and we just press enter. This will this will get into the queue, and normally this takes like ten seconds because the the uh, artificial intelligence is quite fast with the, with these with the newer model. So I hope yes, and this, so this is the result. It says it has been generated by me. You can also check here uh, the usage policy or the usage guide with some tips. And this is the image that's been generated with that with that prompt. Another nice thing is that you can you can also select this, the aspect ratio. For instance, you can uh, type a scene again, same prompt, and you can uh, here it says two more. If you press here or or if you press tab, you will see that you you have other options, uh, aspect ratio or seed. I will explain what this is. This is more advanced, but this is quite quite simple, aspect ratio. So normally, it's the standard aspect ratio is landscape, but you can also select tall. And this will create completely different images because, because it does the composition in a very different way. OK, let me select another. While, while that one is doing 16. For instance, this one. We can do a portrait now. Yeah, so this so this is the same prompt than before, but with a vertical aspect ratio, which changes the whole the whole picture. And then you can do the same with for portraits. So you can do portrait, uh, cyberpunk playing saxophone, bright neon colors, present, and it would generate. And you will, and you can stack these together. So for instance, you can say portrait. Cyberpunk architect with cybernetic Google's party hair design stable. So this is more or less me, and they, and they will keep stacking up. Yeah, so we wait a bit. And if you don't like normally. There's some randomness. There's a lot of randomness involved. So, so the same prompt will not generate always the same image. So sometimes it just uh, you are lucky or not. For instance, this was the architect one. I think this is quite a successful one. Uh, for instance, in this case, I can explain what uh, this this optional seed selection is for. For instance, if you like this image, but but you think that the colors, for instance, are too dull in this case. And you want to make to make them more warm, for instance, you can copy the same prompt. So again, portrait and the same prompt, and you can select seed. In every of these of these images, you will see down here that you have a number. This is the seed. This is the random number from which the generator generates from the from which the image generation starts. So if you if you select the same number, it would produce the same image for the same prompt. So if we want to make this a bit warmer, we can copy this number, and then we can add here, for instance, warm colors or sunset. Sorry, what you said. And this will will start from the same seed. And with a very similar prompt, it should produce a very similar image, as you will see now. No, it, yes, in this case, it changes a lot because it seems the word sunset and the word warm colors change the, the, the image a lot. But normally, this doesn't happen like this. Normally, it only changes a very small, small element. It depends on the words that you, that you add. But actually, I think this is a much better image of that, than the one we had. So I think that's more or less what you can do now. You can also, there's a there's a limited number of images per user per five days, I think. 
Carl, yes, Carl is the one who knows this best. But you can check how many images have you done with the PB slash eh, PB Guion. I don't know how you say that in the sorry, uh, status. Dash. Dash, yeah, sorry. And it will say how many images have you done from the from your limit in five days. And every five days with this will reverse it so you can generate uh, 20 more. Yeah, and I, I'll, I'll have a slide on usage in a minute. Okay. Uh, yes, I think this is more or less what you can do with it. You can, the, for portraits, you have this uh, standard aspect ratio and also a square if you want to create a PFP for your, for your Discord user, for instance. You can also generate a square uh, portraits. And I think that's all, right, Carl? Yeah, so let's let's talk a little bit about um so that was the good rundown. Let's let's talk about generic usage and maybe some tips because I've I've found you kind of got to the it's a cat and it's finicky, so you you got to play with words a little bit. So what's happening in the background is these these AI technologies are basically sucking data off the internet and they associate images with whatever words are around them, okay? So when you say, you know, SpongeBob, okay, it associates with what it sees for SpongeBob. So, you know, there's not a lot of data on the internet for CyberBroker. So you have to use things that it will find on the internet to create that same effect, like CyberPunk or, um, you know, Avatar or, you know, something like that. Um, so could, could you pull up, uh, architect, could you start a new scene command? Yes. And, and we'll say, um, you know, so we, we want to do like mech Olympics. Let's, let's create something that's about mech Olympics. So, okay. you know, it, it might not know mech. We might have to use robots, right? So you would say like robots flying. Uh, in an Olympic stadium um, and crashing. Flying or fighting? Yeah, there you go, fighting. In, in a Olympic stadium. Arena yeah. works best, I think. Yeah. Cyberpunk. Uh, yes, and we can say it also works very good when you say for instance, if it's a sunset, sunrise, nighttime, these kind of words really give the image lots of some qualifiers. Yeah. Yes. So we can say that. And also we can add, for instance, Blade Runner. And um, yes, let's try like this. See what happens. Yeah. So in when you're a graphic mm -hmm. artist, you know, you're, you're playing with, you know, a different set of skills. The, the crafting here is words. And so you're going to like play with different words um, and see what you get. Okay. So as an example, yes. we, we got our robots, we got uh, sunrise, you know, we got some buildings, but we really didn't get the Olympic stadium part, mm -hmm. right? So we've we've got to play with the words a little bit more to kind of get what we want, and this this is what you're going to have fun with, is trying to take a vision in your mind, find the right words that create the output you're looking for. Is is that a good summary, architect? Yes, exactly. It's a it's a it's a question of trying and learning how to how the bot understands the words and which words do work best for you for what you want to do. So there's, it's, a, it's a very new technology, so no one really knows how to get exactly what it wants at first try. So it's a question of trying and, and iterating until you get what you, what you want. Yeah. So let me, let me stop and back up for a minute because I see a whole bunch of people joining. Um, this is the AMA for the Cyber Brokers Pixie Bolt AI service. 
Um, it is a new Discord channel in Cyber Brokers that you will be able to use AI text to image services. Um, there's two types of commands you can use, a scene for landscape and portrait for characters and um, people. And it's just something mm -hmm. fun to play with. Um, but I, I think the whole point is it allows people to take their visions or the ones provided in the lore uh, and turn them into an amazing image to kind of represent what they have in their mind. Um, so it's, it's a great addition to the, the written lore. What we're, what we're doing right now is just kind of running through how it works and giving some examples to help you get started. So, so there's an Olympic stadium. It's off to the left, but it's <laughs> exactly. front and center. Um, yeah. yeah, sometimes it's difficult to get, if you want to, for instance, get someone doing something somewhere, sometimes it's difficult to get both the subject and the location at the same time. You might need to try few of them. But you can see some of the, because we have here some prompts that we know work, work well because we've been experimenting with them. But you can you can always check. For instance, this is a prompt Bo has been working with uh, for plenty of iterations. Maybe you can jump and explain it if you want. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, sure. Uh, are y'all able to hear me? You? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so one of the coolest features with the um, AI bot is that you're able to iterate on a specific seed that you like. Uh, so for this particular one, if you want to see all the, the seeds that I made, if you search Vietnamese in the search bar, you should be able to see all the different ones that I made. Um, so I'd like that particular angle. I like the lighting, but I want to change around a lot of elements in the foreground and the background. Um, so you can see all the different modifiers that I use too to try to get different changes. But yeah, it's been a lot. It's one of the neatest features. I think uh, Architect calls it seed sculpting. Yeah, exactly. You can you can iterate in the same seed until you get something you like. But I think this is a beautiful one. Thank you. And this one was also this was by Ballistic Banana, I think. I I just stole it for the for this demo. Yeah, but so I think some of these are quite and this is my PFP for instance. I created it with the with the bot some time ago. An architect for to show the the seed sculpting really well. Do you have the um, uh, the picture that you have for your profile, and then the picture of um, the female version of it? You know, no, we can do this. About? Yes, yes, we can do that. We can, for instance, take this this same seed and try to transform it into a woman if we if we can. So we will we have to say C was the architect design struggle was fix uh, mm -hmm. fix yes to eyes. Ah yes, yeah, sorry. Yep, no worries. And then the same C. Yes, let's see what it produces. So while we're waiting, I think, you know, one of the first things you'll do when you get into the channel is probably go look at what other people have done. That That's the easiest way to learn is to look at the images that people have already created. You'll, you'll pick up some ideas of, you know, what works and what doesn't, uh, and then start uh, your own experimentation with it. So this is a service we're paying for. So we do have a quota for cyber brokers, which is 3,000 images a month for all holders. Uh, at launch, we're going to set limits that each holder can generate 20 images every five days. Uh, we need to make sure all holders have a chance to use it. Uh, after the first week of use, we will be modifying this based upon the usage, and I, I expect those limits will go up. Um, but the, need to see how the first week goes. You can check your quotas uh, using the PB dash status command. So it'll show you how many you've used, how many you have, and the number of days involved. So you can always check where you are at. 
usage policy. Uh, the full document is in each message. You can click it and read it, but here's the TLDR. Uh, this is primarily to be used for cyber workers themed creations only. Um, you're certainly welcome to create Pepe images, but understand you're using your quota by doing so. <laughs> um, images are for personal use only. They cannot be used for commercial use uh, and should not be used for creating any offensive or distasteful images. If you do post them on social media, please include the following tags. And as noted, there's a, there's a full document with all of this in it uh, in each message. Let's talk about contests. So we, we want to see what people can create with this because it, it's an amazing technology once you kind of get to understand how it works. So the first week will be about letting holders play with it and understand it. Starting on September 5th, I apologize, I have the date wrong there. Um, we'll have weekly themed contests uh, each week starting Monday, 8 to 10 a.m. Oops, Monday, 8 to 10 a.m. Uh, Central. In the pinned post, you'll mm -hmm. find instructions for that week's contest. It will have a theme or phrase that will be used and people will try to create the coolest image based upon that theme or phrase. You'll get one entry on Twitter. So you create you know, up to X images that you have during that time pick the one you like the best, pop it on Twitter, and that will be your entry. You gotta do it before Sunday, 8 p.m. Uh, Central, and then the winners will be announced uh, either Monday or Tuesday, most likely Tuesday. And you get your tweet highlighted uh, as a winning selection. You get included in the Era Novum Ledger, which will be coming out monthly, and in the newsletter. I want to quickly just talk about the tweet part. There's, if you click instructions, it'll have a full step-by-step -step, um, process on how to create these tweets. So I just want to briefly go through it so people have an idea. So you pick the creation, take a snapshot of the entire message. Um, so an entire message would look like the bottom right here. Okay, so you want to get the whole thing. You click the tweet link and a box will come up on your Twitter like this. You know, you change the text to what you want, add the hashtag, paste the image, and you'll get a result that looks like this. So this was my tweet. You know, I was highlighting one of Yo-Yo's um, creations. And I, I think this will help understand. So for me, this looked like a Mecca New Year. So maybe the, the theme or phrase for the week was Mecca New Year. But you'll notice the AI input to create that looks different because sometimes you need to use different words. Okay. Um, I want to talk a little bit about or give Gamer Andy, uh, Adam, a chance to talk about 330 AI. Um, this is a service that we purchased through the company 33 yeah 330 ai uh, and we're using their pixel cat bot to uh, power it yeah thanks carl uh so my name is uh, adam b levine um i've been in crypto since 2011 and uh last year i got sucked down the rabbit hole on this ai <laughs> imagery stuff and wound up uh first starting it as a prototype project and then spinning off a new company called 330 AI Innovations to chase exactly kind of this. And the purpose of what we're doing is really, I'm uh, I'm very interested in technologies as ways to empower people to have better options than they have without it. And I see uh, kind of the moment that we're at in AI artwork as a very important disruptive moment of the same type of scale as we saw in the very early days of cryptocurrency. Um, so that kind of technology and the way that that's going to impact things is going to take you know a couple of years to shake out but even these very early versions of the technology are so cool and the technology is moving so fast that it's a very very interesting space to be working in right now so i'm uh, very happy that we're working with uh, you guys that's uh, fantastic and it's been really great to see sort of the bot used in the this type of an environment because we think that as a means to kind of you know help 
communities create together and create lore together. We haven't turned on the AI text generation uh, features for you guys yet, but that'll be coming too, assuming things continue to go well. And just in general, like kind of sky's the limit in terms of what's possible here. So uh, to the actual point of what I'm supposed to talk about, <laughs> I always go into the philosophy. Um, so uh, Cyber Brokers has engaged us to provide this as a service within your Discord. The service uh, is really powerful for the purposes that the uh, community fund would like to use it for, but there uh, is more that goes beyond this. So when you type slash scene or you type slash uh, portrait, what you're effectively doing is the words that you use are being combined together with words that our architect um, has created in creating the cyber broker style. And so um, so you guys have, like I said, two uh, commands right now, and there may be more commands that have more styles later. Um, if you're interested in creating more than you have in terms of what's available, um, uh, you know, on the uh, Cyber Brokers uh, Pixie uh, Bolt uh, d deployment, then you can head over to the Pixel Mind Discord and you can use the bot for free over there. We have about 50 styles set up. And then there's also um, a web version uh, that we have a beta open for, uh, which is $25 a month. And you can use a coupon code um, to get half off of that. And basically what this will what this is really for is this is for people who are going to use a lot more of the service than the community really can support um, and are looking to do things that aren't necessarily cyber brokers related. So if you have any questions or want to learn more about that, you can head to uh, 330.ai um, or you can join the Pixelmind Discord, which is uh, discord.gg slash Pixelmind. Yeah, right on. Cool. So uh, like I said, if you're uh, interested in kind of more of the service than is provided by this deployment, then go ahead and check that out. Otherwise, I'm here mostly to answer questions. And uh, again, very happy that you guys are enjoying it so far. So I'd like to uh, wrap up the presentation part, and then we can open it up to questions. Um, first, again, huge, huge thanks to Architect, who's been working and putting huge amount of hours to get this cyber workers theme style working uh, as well as helping. He says he doesn't project manage it, but he does. I'm just, I'm just helping with the, the fine, making it pretty stuff. Um, so huge thank you to architect, uh, huge thank you to the cyber workers team for um, funding this through the community fund and for 330 AI for providing the service. Um, what questions do people have? Also, I wanted to pop on here quick to uh, just say that I'm beyond excited as you guys scroll through some of the um, old uh, AI inputs we did. You'll see me get excited about stuff. This is like opened up my mind to a totally different um, art style and just creation style that I hadn't I hadn't played with before. And I'm I'm really excited to see you guys take advantage of it. Um, so want to continue with Carl and say thank you to everyone as well. Have fun and look out for the first contest uh, coming out September 5th and it'll be in the pinned post. We'll make sure to send an announcement about that. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Thanks, guys. See you in Discord. <laughs>